Winnipeg Humane Society has recently seen a large influx of cats coming into their building, and they're hoping to find them all forever homes. Joining me now is Manager of Adoptions at the Winnipeg Humane Society, Christina Graham. So why so many cats right now? Yes, uh, we started opening back up a little bit, uh, accepting more strays by appointments, increasing our appointments. And then on top of that, there was an emergency situation, which led to an influx of more than 40 cats at once. So that uh, definitely put a strain on our uh, resources, our space and uh, staffing. What are you guys doing with all these cats at this point? We are hoping uh, several, uh, so they're they're spending some time in foster. A few are available from foster. Uh, as is typical when we get a large group of cats, uh, they aren't, uh, they're shy. They're, they need a little bit more socialization and time with people to, to cuddle them and teach them that we're not that bad. Uh, so we did have some go to foster, but there are several available in the adoptions department. And so we are hoping to get them adopted uh, so that they can uh, meet their new forever families and, and learn to trust people at a home. So in general, does the Humane Society have difficulties adopting out cats? We we usually um, have less trouble than we're having now with the, the COVID pandemic. Because we are by appointment only, uh, we are we are finding that we are about 100 adoptions behind where we typically would be each month. So right now we're 300 adoptions behind where we were at this time last year. Uh, but that is due to having taken in less animals until recently. And also um, we noticed that other rescues who are very important to the community have increased their adoptions. So that is wonderful. And we think it takes a village and all of us do our part to help the uh, un un owned animals, uh, the strays and the sick and injured animals in the community of Winnipeg. So tell me about the little guy that you got holding there. This is Azuri. It's a it's a unique name. Uh, he came, he was found as a stray with his brother and they were under socialized, but luckily very young. Uh, so he came to us when he was eight weeks old uh, and he's now almost 10 weeks old, but he had to spend a few a few days in foster because we found he had what we thought was an eye infection, but it now actually may turn out to be an issue, um, a, a more serious issue. So he is going to, uh, once he's adopted, he'll still receive ongoing vet care here, but there is a possibility that this little guy may have to lose the eye that's affected. So animals like that sometimes take a little bit longer to find that perfect match. So if anybody was interested in adopting Azuri or any other cats that you might have for adoption, how do they go about taking a look and maybe getting the process underway? Well, first we encourage people who, who have the time and the access to go on our website at winnipeghumanesociety.ca and there you can see all of our available cats and kittens. And uh, if one piques your interest, if you read up on them and want to know more, then they would call our adoptions department at 204-982-2035. And there we could read them the full file and make an appointment for them to come and meet and see if it is the right match for their home. Is there anything in particular that people should be aware of when they start the process for adopting a cat? We are we are trying to accommodate walk-in appointments as people walk up without having called ahead, but it is a limited availability and dependent upon staffing. So we actually set up a welcome center out front. There's a big purple tent at, outside our front doors. And there, they you can inquire there, but we just want people to be aware. There may be delays. You may have to wait or go and come back, just depending on if we have the staffing to, to get you in to meet in person.